to make a habit of empathy, to recognize ourselves in each other. Well, uh, one thing I was thinking about um, was that the great mythologist of the last century, Joseph Campbell, uh, he, was in, he was interviewed toward the end of his life in a series of interviews by Bill Moyers, the journalist. And um, Joseph Campbell talked about the evolution of the human being. And he said that he believed that we became human, really, at the point that we developed compassion. And he talked about the fact that the word compassion is made up basically of two parts, com, passion. And that passion has to do with the emotional connection, the caring about the other. And the calm comes from the same root as community. It means oneness. So he makes the point that in the, in the history of human evolution, perhaps the point at which we truly became human was when we developed the ability to be compassionate, to connect to, care about the other instead of just our own animal selves. And uh, that's always uh, had a major impact on me. Um, and, and it might also, also offer a clue. We know that empathy heals. We know that just personally as human beings, I think. And certainly therapists and the history of psychology has shown that, that empathy heals. What we don't know exactly is why it heals. We know it does, but why does it? And it just may be, just may be that the answer to that is that evolutionarily we're, we've, we've become hardwired, as it were, as human beings to know that when we connect with the other, we're not alone anymore. We have a source of support for emotional, psychological, and, and, and perhaps even physical survival. So evolutionarily, it seems that we are indeed uh, hardwired to connect with one another. Um, one of the things that's happening in the field of, uh, uh, of uh, neuropsychology right now is that what some people are, are calling empathy neurons have actually been discovered in the brain. And so it looks like that this is very real stuff, that the brain, the human brain, is even wired, as it were, evolutionarily, uh, to have these empathy neurons to bounce around and become excited when we begin to connect with the, uh, with the other.